Tech MW. Before I start this video, I just want to say thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. I cannot imagine 5,000 people in a room, mostly because I'm fairly socially awkward, so that would be horrible. Wow, Tech MW, 5,000 subscribers. I remember coming back to this channel in 2021 when it was on like 50 subscribers, and now we're on 5,000. So that's just wild. Can we get to 50,000? Can we get to 100,000? A silver play button sounds quite cool. <laughs> anyway, in all seriousness, thank you guys so much, seriously. Um, and to all my channel members as well, thank you for you know, paying to see this, this absolute rubbish uh, that I call content. So today, with the arrival of my Windows Vista DVD, I wanted to tackle one of the oldest issues this channel has faced, which is getting Windows Vista to run on a 2006 MacBook, because we have never achieved it. We've always got fairly close, but we have not ever succeeded. Several 2006 MacBooks have died along the way. In this video, hopefully with our official Windows Vista disk, which we've never had before. We've never had a proper Vista disk ever. Maybe it will be enough to get Vista to work on this 2006 MacBook. This is the one I'm looking after. This is another Core Duo one, so we want to preserve it as much as we can. We've got Windows Vista Home Premium for distribution only with a PC. Ha <laughs> ha Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the reflectivity-ness of that. That's like ray tracing Minecraft shaders 4.0. Let's just have a little look at this. Your computer came with Windows Vista, cease, no. I don't think Mac OS counts as Windows Vista unless you count Mac OS 26. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, I had a cough uh, the other day and it still hasn't quite gone away. And I also just want to point out, by the way, everyone's saying uh, Mac OS 26 looks like Vista. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Aqua came first. So, you know, technically Vista copied Mac. You don't see anyone talking about that. Anyway, now we will take our Windows Vista Home Premium disk. You may notice that I actually did buy a proper 32-bit disk. The MacBook 2006 is ready. We're just going to have to plug it in. Yeah, boy. Macintosh hood is correct. Hey, hey. Oh, your computer's clock is set completely wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a few little things on here. I started setting this up for another video. We will be continuing this video because if I can do boot camp properly, then we won't need to actually wipe this, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool. Not only are we going to be installing Windows Vista on a 2006 MacBook, we're also going to be installing Windows Vista on an SSD. So, hey, hey. Let's go into our little boot camp assistant. Okay, boot camp assistant helps install Microsoft Windows. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do we need the... We'll just use the disc that came with the Mac, even though one I haven't got one for the Mac. Should we... Status pub... What? I never hit divide. Can I? Can I? Why did it just say it was partitioning the disc already? Oh, hang on. It's already got boot camp on it. What? Uh, let's just remove that because we'll just try it again do you like my little uh, grip on the on the on the phone <laughs> partitioning should actually be quicker than normal because this is on an ssd okay this is taking longer than i thought it was going to i'm not gonna lie please tell me it's not just gonna allow windows 7 only oh whoa whoa did you see how much pressure that was i think it's this drive that's oh no look at this we're good we're good we're good we're good it didn't want to take it in for a moment there that was uh, a bit concerning let's see if it actually detects it as a windows disk if we hit start installation if not we'll just have to do it through the boot menu i'm just gonna have a a sip of tea ignore the tea rings i try not to drink too much tea but uh, you can never have enough tea okay i actually think it's detected it as a windows disk which is great even though obviously officially it's just Windows 7 in this version. We've never had, I don't think we've ever had a Vista load before from a disk. So I'm expecting this to just stay being a blank screen. <gasps> Get out! Get out, sunshine! We've got Windows is loading files. Windows is loading files. Windows is loading files. Files. I think we've got to try Vista on the 2009 MacBook Pro then as well. That's going to be fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, we might actually have a successful Windows Vista run. I can choose any edition. Okay. Boot camp. Window... Windows cannot be installed to this hard disk space. Windows must be installed to a partition formatted as NTFS. Please tell me I can do that. Oh, please. Oh my gosh. It's done the first bit. 
expanding files. Expanding files. <laughs> oh no! Oh. 74%, 75%, it hasn't crashed. So what's gonna go wrong? Cause something's got to go wrong, surely. That is the Windows Vista loading screen and it's not coming off the DVD. Do you like my uh, soundproofing panels in the background, by the way? <laughs> Please wait a moment while Windows prepares to start for the first time. I can wait. <laughs> I can, I've, I've been waiting two, three years to get this to work. Completing installation. We might not even have to read Diary Room for Kid for this video. It seems to be positive. Oh, there's a little glitch there. Okay, okay, so some negativities, okay. I'm trying to draw any negativity I can. Just make this a proper tech and doll video. Oh, 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 it's updated. <gasps> boib, oh, I type boib, boib. Oh, let's go for the goofy robot. I don't know why I sounded like a captain from The Sims then, but I did. I'm going for the proper Vista wallpaper with this one. We use recommended settings, because I trust this to, uh, you know, keep me secure. Getting it done just got more fun. That rhymes. <laughs> anyway, turn everyday moments into lifetime memories. Yeah. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Is this a hallucination? Is this real? <gasps> oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Are we good? We're on Vista. We're on Vista. We have a 2006 MacBook running Vista. It only took two years. Oh my gosh. We've got a genuine Intel R CPU T2500 at two gigahertz, 1.96 gigs of RAM, Intel G945 G, yeah, that's great. This is a real achievement unlocked right here. Like forget all the other videos, this is achievement unlocked. What do I get for my Windows experience? I get 3.0 for my experience index. Like, is that, I'm assuming that's just the graphics, right? Processor only got a 3.9. I'm surprised considering that the average PC when Vista came out was like single core. The disk transfer rate came in clutch 5.9 that's still quite slow though considering the highest is 7.9 i think let's enjoy the absolute security risk that is windows vista widgets can i put them over each other oh yes that i have no idea what to do with it load headlines let's have a look at movie maker where's movie maker this beats clip champ 10 out of 10 every day nice you know what i might maybe try and edit a video on windows vista that would be wild. Anyway, all that being said, thank you very much for watching our success of installing Windows Vista on a 2006 MacBook at last. We have achieved it and it only took 5,000 subscribers to get there. If you enjoyed this one, please do consider leaving it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Let's go for 10,000 subscribers and let's go for 500 likes on this video because we finally did it. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. All right, thank you very much for watching this one. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.